Last season, the UH football team had the task of rebuilding an offense that lost seven starters, five that were all wax selections. This year, the Warriors have holes to fill on the other side of the ball. The biggest push to improve right now may be coming from Hawaii's defense. It's the hardest hit unit after graduation, after uh, having lost nine starters from last season, including five who were all wax selections. As a total defense, UH ranked 62nd in the country last year and third in the WAC. The remaining defensive players for UH say there's no reason to fear what needs to be rebuilt, considering most returnees have game time experience. People are going to have a lot of question marks about us and stuff, and it's really going to knock our defense. But, you know, we, we're, we're ready to replace. A lot of us have been waiting a long time to finally come up there, step up to the plate, and, and show off what we got. You know, we got a lot of talent. You know, that was backing up a lot of the starters last year. You know, I know a lot of people are going to say, you know, defense is not going to be ready, but don't count us out yet. The guys is ready to do the job. I mean, some of the guys like me, unfortunately, Br Brashton, and some of the new guys, young kids just coming up. And I think from, from here on out, we have a good team. But uh, we have a lot of guys that can step up. I'm going to do the job. Coaches are. Last season, Warriors head coach Greg McMacken became just the second coach in school history to lead the Warriors to a bowl game in his first season as head coach. But as Brian Ojima explains, with 13 starters lost to graduation, this year's Warriors team is looking for players to step things up. When the Warriors take the field for their season opener, they'll have plenty of new faces in their starting lineup. With just nine returning starters on a team that finished 7-7, seven and seven, the Warriors are faced with the challenge of replacing four starters on offense and nine starters on defense. We know, you know, teams in the WAC are, are rebuilding themselves also, but, you know, it doesn't matter what they do, it's about what we do, you know. We do our thing and we, we, uh, we come out to play every, every Saturday and put in the work Monday through Friday, you know, it, it's... It's going to be it's going to pay off for us. The good news for the Warriors is that many of their offensive skill players are returning. Players like starting quarterback Greg Alexander and two of their leading receivers Greg Salas and Malcolm Lane. Lane led the team in yards per catch last season. I just want to do whatever the coaches ask me, you know, do whatever they want me to go out there and do, you know. If they want me to have one catch for 80 yards, or 10 catches for 80 yards, it doesn't matter, you know, whatever it takes for our team to win. Head coach Greg McMacken added two new faces to the team's coaching staff with the addition of offensive line coach Gordy Shaw and special teams coach Chris Tormey. Both coaches have a combined 60 years of coaching experience, which will only help the Warriors as they try to earn their eighth bowl game berth in the last 11 years. In Manoa, Brian Ojima, KHNL and K5 News. And the Warriors open the season at home against Central Arkansas on September 4th. Congratulations to them. Well, it's going to be big. Call it a combine for high school football players. Some of Hawaii's top prep prospects are going to get the chance to show what they've got to college coaches this summer in an all-out three-day football camp. The all-poly football camp hits the islands in late June. We're going to bring about uh, 25 uh, Division I head coaches down here, and uh, we're going to do a full contact camp uh, for all positions. And uh, the main reason why we want to come down here is to expose the best football players in the state of Hawaii. Uh, it's a one-stop shopping for college coaches. You know, uh, I mean, we're going to bring the best talent together. We're going to take them through a college-type formatted camp. And the college coaches are actually going to coach these kids up and uh, get a chance to see where their awareness is. The All Poly Football Camp will be from June 29th to June July 1st, and it's not just for high schoolers. For the Keiki Camp, five to 12 year olds, it's a half day, no pads, and it costs $15. The Warrior Camp is 13 to 15 year olds, full pads, and a full day. That's $25 for both of those. Lunch and a T-shirt are included. And then there's the Elite Camp, 16 to 18 year olds, full pads, three full days, three full meals, and a T-shirt are included. That's $175. College coaches, as well as current and former NFL. NFL stars helping out, considered to be a college combine. The one thing that the All Poly Camp brings is exposure and opportunities to the islands, you know, especially for kids over here, since we're so far away from the United States, we don't get a fair shot and a fair look at everybody. So, I mean, that's what I'm more looking forward to is uh, getting exposure because we got the talent, most definitely.